match. Oh yeah, this featherweight match is looking to be a, a cracker. Speaking of firecrackers, look at that. Fabrice Audrey with his signature power up at the start. Gets everybody in the venue into the mood. Risky guard pull from Andre there. But no penalty awarded. Action continues. Good pressure from Sodre in coming forwards. Fabricio Andre has his left foot, oh, it was on the hip. Sodre has just removed it. There it is again, it's back on the hip. It's like a sit-up guard style. He's got the sleeve control with his right hand. I'm wondering if we'll see Fabricio Andre try to pass the sleeve through. It does seem to be the battle that's taking place right now. Fabrice Andre is trying to pass the left sleeve of Alexandro Sodre from his right hand to his left between the legs. But Sodre is well aware of what that means. That would mean that that would mean that he would get swept. Fabrice Andre could come up on a single leg and just dump Sodre down. So there it is. But he's coming up. Underhooking. There it is. Dumps him down. Drops him to the mat and scores two. Fabrizio now driving forward, putting in a lot of pressure. And this is definitely the guard play that we expect from uh, Santos Odre here. A lot of last guard. But he will have to be aggressive as he's down by the two points. Yeah, in situations like this, it's not enough to just hold on. You have to. You have to be aggressive. You have to do something. And I think you let Fabrizio Andre start dictating the pace of the match, and you're in for a rough night. Fabricio disengages. I wouldn't be surprised to see a flying triangle attack from here. Oh, loop choke. That's good. That's good. That's good. Well, referees didn't think it was worth an advantage, but I felt that that was... Uh, Fabricio definitely reacted. Yes, he did. That's not a position you want to hang out in, even though it was a brief attempt. I do think that there was clear danger. Oh, yeah, they did give the advantage to uh, Sodre. The uh, side referees with the video assisted replay decided that it was worth it, and I agree.
double sleeve control spider lasso here for Alessandro Sodre. I like the use of that stomp to get rid of the spider and you see there Fabrizio Andre now putting a lot of pressure sideways pressure rotational pressure on the lasso the corner of Fabrizio Andre we see Melky Galvao father of Mika Galvao and mastermind of the new team there yeah in the corner of Alexandro Sodre is Rafael Feijal the Novo Niel coach and uh, one of the most animated and uh, outgoing coaches in the game but there's Melky Galvao in the corner as you mentioned incredible work that he's done with that competition team from Manaus in taking athletes from 12 13 year olds bringing them literally raising them as if they were his own children training them as athletes as well and taking them to the highest levels in the jiu-jitsu world it's just it's incredible really the amount of dedication and perseverance and personal sacrifice that he's made in doing so and these young athletes really have distinguished themselves as some of the very best and brightest stars in jiu-jitsu today and i'm sure they will be for many years Yeah, in the other corner is Rafael Feijão. And as I said, there he is. The coach to Alexandro Sodre and Diego Sodre, the two brothers. And uh, Rafael is usually one of the more animated, outgoing, loud, vocal coaches. He's pretty, uh, pretty restrained today. He is. I, I noticed that myself. Yeah, he also runs a, a very interesting class. You know, I had the pleasure of, of uh, standing in for one of those, filming on a Road to Worlds tour. At Gustavo Dantes' gym there when he visited. And a very unique approach to how he drills techniques, situational sparring, things like that. Uh, definitely worth looking at if you have a chance to do that. Or watch the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the action, shall we? This uh, guard right here, you see that Fabrizio Andre, his ability, his hip flexibility and his ability to squat down so low it's really impressive, really, really impressive. He's keep, you know, I mean, he's lifted his hips up now because he wants to create some forward pressure, and there you go, try and dive through for that. Risky move, and Sodre may capitalize on that. Very risky because Sodre, if he can force a mat return, he'll have a clear lead. Yeah, with two advantages now. But Fabricio is quite competent in the scrambles. Definitely a little bit of compromised posture here. Yeah. That is not an optimal position to be. Oh, but Fabrice Andre shoots in now. Flips it. Is now the one dictating the wrestling. Yeah, and all that work that Sodre did was only worth an advantage. Fabrice Andre gets one of his own. Good composure from Fabrice Andre in not freaking out when Alexandro Sodre was threatening that mat return when he came up. And that just shows a level these guys. Fabrice Andre makes a risky move and boom, Sodre really almost capitalize, capitalizes on that. Yeah. Forty seconds remaining, or thereabouts. And now, the fans, the teammates, the supporters, they're getting much louder. You can hear them. They are both urging their teammates on. And you can see a sense of urgency all over Alessandro Sodre here. He knows he's got 25 seconds left. To one takedown, one sweep would be enough. He's got the one advantage lead, but... 20 seconds remain and he's oh, coming up, up on a single. single. Tries to go for the kick out again. Fabrizio Andre, look at that, what a showman. He's like, no, not on my watch. The 
crowd is on their feet here. One last guard pull from Alexandre Sodre. And that's it. Fabrizio Andre claims the gold medal here. Featherweight champion of the 2023 IPJJF European Championships. Small part of Jiu Jitsu in, in, in the Gi. And that investment that Fabrizio Andre had made paid off. And there's your featherweight champ.